Good evening, everybody. This tutorial is going to be about Google Meet breakout rooms and Quizlet Live. I have my class here. This is the Jernigan class. They are going to unmute their mics and say hello to you guys right now. Woo. So the echo is, is something that you got to be aware of and adjust accordingly. So right now I'm going to go ahead and open my breakout rooms uh, extension. Un unmute your mic, not your video, but that's okay. You always have one student who doesn't know how to follow instructions too. So you have to remind them um, of what it is that you're asking them to do. All right, so here's my Google, Google Breakout Rooms extension, and here is uh, my Google Meet. I'm gonna also go to Quizlet, and we're gonna play the game. We're gonna do riddles. Now, this is not a tutorial on using Quizlet. I can do another one of those later, but this is going to be a Quizlet with riddles. And let's just select the random one. Or do we want to do the same one? Let's do the same one. Wow. Uh, the more you have open, the more laggy your uh, device will be. So keep that in mind as well. So here it is. We're going to click on live so that we can go live. And for this, you're going to have to share your screen so that your, your students can sh see your screen. So I'm going to share my screen. And for Quizlet, we're going to play Teams. Um, I'm sharing my screen right now. Um, I'm going to remind my students that if you're not speaking, please mute your microphones. There you go. And for this, you're going to go to Quizlet.live. Um, you can either do that on your current device or you can use your phones, which is, I prefer using your phones. And there's actually a Quizlet app. I encourage you to familiarize yourself with Quizlet because it's really cool that you can have, it's basically digital flashcards. So the code for Quizlet.live is 360014. You can also copy the game link and put it into the chat for them to follow as well. So we're waiting on two more players. We're waiting on Faith and Nicole. Oh, no, not Nicole. We're waiting on Faith. Now, now we're just waiting on Faith. OK, so once we have all of our players in, we can create the game with five players. And we'll go ahead and create the game with these five players. And you can shuffle the teams if you want, but we're going to go ahead and, and use these five players. Now, once you have your team set up, this is where the breakout rooms comes into play. You're gonna go over to breakout rooms and open your course that you're dealing with. We're dealing with messing around with breakout rooms like always. I'm gonna set my rooms and my room titles need to be the same as my Quizlet Live team. So we have ostriches and sea dragons. So I'm gonna abbreviate ostriches OST and sea dragons SD. Just for the sake of this in time, C S D. And once I have that, I click Save, and my meets are there. I'll go over to my Google Meet. I'll scroll down to pre-assigned breakouts, and then I'll copy my breakout room links, and I'll paste them into my chat. Okay. Now, go back to your Quizlet Live so that they can see their teams, so they can remember. Now, they're either Team Ostrich or Team Sea Dragon. And at this point, they're gonna to go to either one of these two links, either to Team Ostrich, if they're an Ostrich, or Team Sea Dragon, if they're a Sea Dragon. And you should click on those links too so that you can open them up in a new tab. If you want, you can open them in new windows, but that's just part of setting it up in Google Classroom, or in, sorry, Google Breakout Rooms. Um, these are outside of district students, so you might have to admit them. If they're in district students, you will not have to admit them. So I've admitted my students to, to this breakout room session. And then you want to double check. We have Nicole and Faith in that room. We have um, 
Estelita and Niall. Uh, we're missing Pat. Uh, Pat, are you gonna join us? Pat, can you join? There you go. And there's Pat. She's now joined us and they're in there. Now, at this point, you, you want to tell your students to mute the main chat. Turn off your video, please, Mr. Jernigan. Pat? Turn off your video in the, there you go. And you want to go over to the meet, to the main meet, and ask your students to mute their microphones. So I've got to hide all this stuff, these pop-ups that are coming up. I'm going to go ahead and turn off that. My speaker can stay on there. And I want to make sure that my speakers are turned off. Otherwise, you're going to get some crazy feedback. OK, now before you start the game, also turn on closed captioning. And then I encourage you to record the, record the meeting so you can make sure that they're being appropriate. So you'll turn on closed captioning, so turn on closed captioning and record the meeting. All right, now we're ready to start the game. So we're going to go ahead and start the game. And open breakout rooms. And I want to broadcast to everybody. The game has begun. Please go ahead and start playing. Please let live. So what I'm doing here is I'm, I'm navigating. So what I'm doing here is I'm navigating between um, tabs so that you guys can see what the tabs, uh, what they, what, what I see, and what's going on in each of your breakout rooms. You can pull these out as separate windows. I just find it easier to manage as separate tabs. And so we have the ostrich, ostriches are the winners. Ostriches are the winners. Um, no, no. Everybody has the same questions. Everybody has the same questions. Everybody has the same questions. Okay. Uh, so I need everybody to go ahead and go back to the main room and hang up in the breakout room. So every, everybody should be going to the main room and hanging up in the breakout room. So you can actually, um, if you're doing breakout rooms after 40, 30 seconds, uh, when you hang up, they no longer can use the breakout room. So after you close out the breakout room, they no longer can use it. 
All right. So what did you guys think? Okay. Right, get your friends and family together, like or my family together and try it out on your family. Right, right. Right. Okay, so just so you guys know, we have um, a retired principal on, a current principal, some students, and a person from the industry. So we have all different levels of expertise here in terms of education technology, and um, it worked. It actually worked. So I encourage you guys to try it out too.